Welcome everybody, this is John Burra from MammothInteractive.com. If you want to go to Mammoth Interactive, you can go and find out what the latest projects that we're doing. We also have a 10-hour free coding course in the description. So if you haven't already signed up, go sign up. It's free. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to add in block bold text to a image here. Now you can use this in pretty much any situation. I find it works really well. It's a nice bold and minimalist style. So what you can do is you can add in any width and any height. It doesn't really matter which one. All right. And also, by the way, I always like to add in the transparent background because I always end up deleting the background here and you can see the background is indeed transparent. All right. So I'm going to add in an off white. So as you can see, my RGB or red, green, blue values are 250, 250, 250. And, you know, you can also look at that hex code there too. So push OK, push G or Shift G. And you can see that the, the background is now white. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use an off black. And I always like to use 50, 50, 50. Fun fact, if you use your RGB values and if they're all the exact same value, there it is a shade of gray. If you want a slightly dark, darker off black, you can always go 25, 25, 25. It's up to you. Let's just do that just to see how that looks here. And what I'm going to do is first things first is I'm actually going to draw a box here. Okay. And this box, you can go and you can select this 25, 25, 25. You want the stroke to be nothing or zero. You do not want any stroke at all. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to drag kind of a box in like this. Don't worry if it's centered or not. But now you want to center it, and you can do that by using this fun-looking pink strip here. Okay. So there we go. That looks pretty pretty nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new layer here, and I'm going to switch it back to white because I want the text to be white. And I'm just going to type in mammoth. Okay, now here is something that's really cool. My font that I'm using is Oswald Bold. For this kind of tutorial, you want to use something that's, you know, rather bold here. Now, what I'm actually going to use is I'm actually going to use, um, and if you, by the way, if you want to use this one here, it's an Arial font, and most people think Arial is a horrible font, but it's actually... Actually, some of them are pretty good. So the one I want is Arial Black Regular, okay? And I'm just going to type in Mammoth, okay? Just like that. And that, that looks pretty good. It's a nice, bold font here. With minimalism, you want to make sure that everything is big. It's, um, it, well, it can be big and bold, but in this case, it kind of goes with my logo here. But in minimalism, you want everything to be simple. Now, there's two things you can do here. You can go... And for example, just kind of scale it up. And I was just pushing the shift button there. And if you really want to, you can kind of do this cool design trick that I know is where you kind of bleed it into. And I'm just going to go to scale there here. And you kind of bleed it into the background, kind of like this. Okay. And this is awesome because it kind of looks like you're cutting out the, the image here. But what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to go uh, step backwards and just keep it like this here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, and what, actually, first of all, I'm just going to go and type in interactive, okay? And you can use the same font, or you can use a different font. It doesn't really matter. But what you do want to do is you do want to scale this up, okay, to the size here. And I'm pushing shift, by the way. And if you kind of want to, you can kind of make it go in here if you if you want to they kind of work together but I don't want to do that I just want them to be separate okay now what you do want to do however is you want to make sure that they are lined up perfectly like this and if you go to the rectangle you can see that the width of this is exactly 763 and if you go back to interactive here uh, you can see that the width is 765 but one thing about text Depending on which letter is at the end, you might need to just eyeball it, okay? And this is something that you need to know as a designer. Line up one edge and kind of, well, just look. Is that really lined up? Not quite. So you sometimes just have to eyeball it um, and maybe make some 
offset uh, kind of offset here and and that's looking pretty good so we got mammoth interactive I'm just gonna move this down so it looks pretty good now the question is do you want this to be kind of flush with the box or with the other words now I personally like it better with the box okay so now that we have this here this is looking pretty good but it's begging for a different color so I'm going to select everything and kind of move it into the center here and again with that eyeball just kind of move it up just a little bit so that it looks better and as a designer you will find out when it gets better here now I do happen to have a smart logo here and I'm not going to add in this logo but what I am going to do is I am going to steal this color okay so I'm just going to steal this color here and the question is, is do you want this to be orange or do you want this to be orange okay it's up to you or we could have the box be orange but personally I like it like this a little bit better now as you can see this is pretty awesome it's three colors it's an off black it's an off white and it's a color this works with any color as long as it's a lighter color okay so blue purple pink kind of you know we got that orange here we've established that in green you can see that it all looks pretty good okay so I'm just gonna cancel out of that and just keep it orange here but so here we go we have a nice looking bold logo uh, and a bold bold words here all right so that's up to you if you want to by the way you want to make sure that if this is center if you want to make it is center you can you can do that here but I'm just gonna move it up ever so slightly because I think that just looks a little bit better okay so thank you for listening and I hope that you check out that 10 hour free course in the description it is free and you do get to learn a whole bunch of languages so please 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 go and check that out and you can always check our Twitter account at mammoth company go to mammothinteractive.com to see what we're doing here as well as you can subscribe to our subscription where you can get tons of videos just like this one and you can learn how to build an app from scratch and upload it to the App Store etc all right remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I hope to see you in another tutorial